GPT for All is a project that enables you to run many LLMs in quantized GDUF format on any hardware locally without any internet and without any GPU. This GPT for All tries to enable you to run most of the LLMs in quantized format or a small format in GDUF format on CPUs. So the aim here is to enable everyone to run LLM locally on their system. This can be installed on Windows, OS X and also on Ubuntu. Previously, I have created a video where I showed you how to do it on Ubuntu. But in this video, I'm going to show you how easily you can install it on Windows. So go to their website, which is gptforall.io and I'll drop the link in video's description and then click on Windows installer here. It will start downloading as you can see at the top. Click on open file. Let's wait for the installer to start. Shouldn't take too long. Then click on next and just select this folder, which is fine. And we just want to install this, accept the license, and then next, next and install. Let's wait for it to finish. Should not take too long. And finish. Once the installation is finished, minimize this browser window or any other window and then just on your desktop, click on this GPT for all. And it will take a bit of a time, first time when it loads. Now you can just click no and no here because so you don't have to do it. Now installation is done and now you can play around with these models. Like we have Mistral Open Orca, Mistral Instruct, GPT, Chat GPT 3.5 for Turbo. Also we have this Chat GPT 4. So let's go with Chat GPT 4. Now one thing is that even if it's a paid version, it does, this does not guarantee API key access for some reason. So maybe uh, we can use this one. So let's click on install, enter open API key. Let me enter my key here. So I tried to provide my open API key and try to download the chat GPTs one, but they are not working. And even despite of clicking on install, it doesn't get installed for some weird reason. So instead, what I have done, I have just simply selected this GPT for all Falcon, which is quite a good model and instruction based. And it has been fine tuned by Nomi KI. So as you can see on the right hand side, it is being downloaded. The quantized version is just less than four gig. And we need eight gig of RAM, which I think I have 16 GB. So let's see how it goes. Halfway done, let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long now. And on the right hand side, you can see that I'm using M5 2x large instance in AWS EC2. The model download is almost finished. Now it is calculating the hash value for it. Let's wait for it to finish. So you can see that it is done. Now just click on this cross at the top right. This model is already downloaded. Let me chat with it. I'm going to ask it what is the capital of Australia. Let's wait for it to come back. And this is an offline model. That is nice, quite good response. Um, let me ask it one more question. How to climb the K2 mountain in Pakistan? Let's see how it goes. Let's wait for it to come back. So I'm expecting it to go give me a step by step plan with some prerequisite. And you can see that the response is already quite good. It, it is giving me the information about what K2 is also warning me about its challenging nature and then all the prerequisites which is great let's wait for it to print all the response 
and it was printing the response and now it has just sort of stuck in a loop and printing this triple hash i'll just click on stop generating so i would say uh, quite a good tool to install the quantized versions of models locally just to play around with them but i don't really see much um, utility of this tool in production environment where you want to offline locally want to host something because um, I think quantized version won't do the trick as you can already see the hallucinations there or some uh, weird output from this model. And I have seen the same happening with other models too, including Mistral and stuff. Otherwise, Mistral is quite good even in terms of the quantization. If you go to their GitHub repo, there is also some, or even their project page you can also do some sort of training there are some other widgets and if you can also make it talk with your own documents but if you want to do it first you have to um, go to the models again and then you can go and use your local doc so for that just click here on download and then you need to download this s bird model first which is only 43 mp because this bird model will be it's, it's embedding model so it will be used to convert your local data into your uh, vectorization that's already done and then now you can add your own local documents by just clicking on or browsing from here for this uh, demo i'm just going to use one of the documentation from oracle database for 11g let's go to the folder i'm just going to select this downloads folder from admin and then it will scan all the files there so that's done what is it pass settings okay it is around snippet side or something that is good and here you can set your application and these are the models which we are using cool now close it and just ask here what is oracle database let's see if it is able to detect it that's good and you can on the right hand side you can see that it is also telling you how much token it is using they are 4.3 tokens that is good and this is it guys i hope that you enjoyed it not only you can install it offline locally you can talk this quantized version you can use your, your own data to play around with it on windows without any internet without any uh, gpus I hope that you enjoyed it. If you are stuck anywhere or if you need any assistance or if you have any comments, thoughts, feel free to share them in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.